Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 28 of the Sky PC LP. I'm Buddy Bison and let's just get into the map. Uh, I bought a better sword for uh, Laharl and I don't believe I mentioned it in the last episode but I also bought better glasses and shoes for Long Lina. time no see, Gordon. Who's there? Uh. Curtis? That's right, Curtis, Defender of Earth. A rival has made his appearance! Look! Look! Yeah, yeah, calm down. My goal was to defeat you, Gordon, but it seems I've overestimated you. Huh? What do you mean? I assumed that you had completed your mission and defeated the Overlord. I came here to settle things with you. But look at the facts. You failed your mission, and even worse, you've become the Overlord's slave. I'm embarrassed to call you my rival. He's right. That is embarrassing. Ugh. You don't have the right to call yourself Defender of Earth, nor the right to fight me. So long. Curtis, wait. You're right. I didn't complete my mission, and in your eyes, it may seem that my current predicament is rather... pathetic. What's he talking about? It is pathetic. Shh. It's getting good. But, but I say, I have not lost my passion. I still have a hero's spirit. Words cannot describe this sensation. My soul burns brighter than ever before. And do you know why? Because the true enemy has appeared before my very eyes. Fine then, if you insist, Prove me wrong. I'll be waiting for you, Captain Gordon. Don't lose to these bunch of soldiers. The worst part is the ally damage is only for my team. 
game sucks. It's like, screw you, man. If I, if I have to play by the rules, why shouldn't you? Um, okay. Weak to it. Um, don't want him to die, so take him out. Um, Storm, Dark Slash. Um, oh, I already threw him in there. Um, okay. I might buy Hogmiser a better monster weapon. Well, not after this specifically, because I won't have enough money to buy a good one. Um, so my shop, I believe, is rank 7 at this Seventy-four is such an odd amount. <laughs> such an odd amount of, uh, of resistance. Save, 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 grind, save. Star Cluster. Dance from you for humans. You save me trouble dealing with both Flan and the Overlord. You're genius if I do say so myself. I'll be by the Seraph. Once I get rid of him, I'll be the one who humans deal with angels. I will be the god of all. Okay. So. Uh, what's wrong? You act weird. Both an evil presence. Jenna Carter and maybe Curtis. No, it wasn't human, something more terrifying. I'm trying to prove that there's something more evil than me. I'm sure you're not imagining things. Maybe it's just me. Okay. Oh, thanks guys. Okay. I remember this one too. Oh, yeah, I remember this one super hard. Okay. Um, where's So 
basically, if anyone is here, they receive 20% damage, which kind of sucks, even though they are invincible. Uh, Geo block damage is not uh, excluded from that type of thing. So, that's the reason why. Uh, I'm getting... Put all my people out that I can throw with. How many more people? I'm gonna put rest. See, the thing is, even if they land in the red and they don't get rid of the ally damage, at least the enemy will not be able to damage while it's still there. And this is one of the maps where diagonal throw is great. Other than that, it's just a regular throw green. Pretty useful in this situation. Okay. Now I need to remember. So this is the one... This is the one I want to get rid of. Um, but you can't really get rid of it. You can only move it. Um, so, what I'm going to do These are red, and if I throw this in here and destroy it, it might turn everything to red, and then invincibility would be possible to get rid of. So, um, I just need to. Okay, so I have a couple more people on top of that. This is all invincible, but uh, at least the hot is not going to be taking any damage, and then I'll just get everyone to red stuff. So, Hogmizer is Darkness Slash. episode, and I'm going to kill this. Just end episode. End chest. End turn. And then kill the uh, ally damage 20%. Um, because I can just have all my, all my characters green. Seriously, goddamn it, did I? Fuck. Um, okay. Starbuster. Gordon Spark, but. Actually, I'm gonna see if there's any better equipment I can put on real quick. No, because I can't access my warehouse. Awesome.
because even if the enemy is boosted, it doesn't really matter, does it? Now it's just a matter of keeping the enemy out of the green area and attacking the other than the red. Gordon out.
it's just gonna be over there. It's not gonna be anything, really. Okay. So the hope is to just kind of fill up all the green spots available that they could get into. That one will die. The axe just isn't moving, which is kind of annoying. Some maps in this game, they're just more annoying than others, but they're fun because they're, like, they're annoying because the creators had to actually think. Be like, okay, you know what, what would be an annoying kind of map? It's like, oh, how about a map where you're invincible, except for you're not? How do we make it even more annoying? Make it super long and winding. trouble you go through, you'll be able to just kind of breeze through it, if you do it right. Miss Jennifer has been really depressed lately. I wonder whose fault that is. Don't look at me like that. You should apologize. Y yeah? Um, Jennifer? Well, you see? It's all my fault. What? I could have stopped them, but I didn't. I knew what was happening, but I kept denying it. If only... if only I was stronger. What do you mean, Jennifer? What are you talking about? Who's there? Well done, Overlord. I thought I had completely masked my presence. You too. Getting this close without me noticing. It's an honor to hear such praise from you. My purpose was to settle things with Gordon. But now, you've caught my attention. <laughs> and what have you got in mind? <laughs> you ask the obvious. Mano a mano. We shall speak with our fists. Okay, that was a pretty short cutscene. Um, okay, so I'm not seeing any bullcrap. Uh, okay. He's weak to ice, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna go slow. Young Clinair. 
one. Okay. A bit more people than I thought were coming. God, he's an 801 with a pistol? My my song is Flan at uh, the Harlot Plenty. <laughs> Not bad. What's wrong? Why are you holding back? I'm ready to get serious, but I don't want to injure the VIP. What? Who's he talking about? Has he fallen in love with me? How oh, sweet. Where 
Where'd you get that idea? What the? Why is the ground shaking? <laughs> That's... The, the Space, space Battleship Gargantua! We will now begin a full-scale attack with over two million battleships. But before that... Ah! Your father awaits you, Jennifer. Come with me. Father? I thought her parents passed away when she was a child. What? You didn't know? She is General Carter's foster child. What? I'm sorry, Gordon. What Curtis said is true. I was adopted by General Carter and raised as his child. He was a kind man. I always believed that he loved me. But that couldn't have been further from the truth. He raised me only so he could use me. If you're going to complain about your father, tell him yourself. My orders are simply to bring you back alive. He wants to use me again? <sighs> it doesn't matter anymore. Wait! Jennifer, don't go! You're the assistant of Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth! Remember? Have you forgotten our sworn duty? Um, didn't you dismiss her? Shut up! Don't dig up the past! I retracted that! Jennifer, it doesn't matter if you're Carter's daughter or not. As the assistant to the Defender of Earth, listen to your heart. What is right? What do you believe in? And what will you do right now? Gordon. Enough talk. Gordon, Overlord, I'd like to settle this once and for all. If you want Jennifer back, then find a way aboard the Gargantua. Until then, see ya. Jennifer! Jennifer! To be continued. Okay. So with that, we have ended episode 11. This is a bit worrisome. I never thought human intervention could cause such disorder. Nor did I. This may hinder our plans. Yes, indeed. What is troubling you? Is there something else? I cannot believe that this is the work of humans alone. Someone must be pulling the strings. Do you have an idea of who it might be? I think so, but I cannot be certain. I see. I will investigate the matter. But if you strain yourself much more, you will. <laughs> that is of little concern. Compared to the ordeal they are enduring. Episode 13, War of the Netherworld, Part 2. Damn it! Pesky humans! What do they want with the Netherworld, I wonder? Beats me. I don't understand how humans think. I'm back. How'd it go, Gordon? Easy, as expected. Using Thursday's navigation system, I was able to lock onto the Gargantua's coordinates. Good work. Now we can board the ship directly. But still, I'm surprised you were able to find the coordinates. You look about as smart as a rock. Well, it seems that Jennifer had already programmed them in. As Jennifer did? Then did she expect this to happen? I guess so, but she must have wanted to give her father the benefit of the doubt. That's probably why she never told me about it. Hey, how long are you planning on sitting around? We can't just let the humans have their way. Let's go! I shall show those fools what happens when you pick a fight with an overlord! Yeah! We'll show them! That's right. I'm overwhelmed with hero's spirit. I'll save Jennifer no matter what. 
<laughs> this is getting interesting. Okay. So with that, I'm going to end this episode here because we're well on our way to almost 40 minutes. Um, so you can probably imagine where our next uh, battle is going to take place. Uh, yeah, it's on the Gargantua. Uh, but, uh, yeah. technology is great. And you shut up. So, Gargantua deck will go there in the next episode. So, with that, I hope you all have a very nice day and join me in the next episode. Thank you.